let's think about this. You know nothing about f of x. This is pretty much everything that's given in the question, apart from a few extra words that just kind of pad the, the equations. Okay? They tell you that definite integral above, and then they say, can you evaluate this definite integral below? That's all they give you. Okay? Now, seeing as you don't know anything about the function, this tells you this is not about calculus. right? You can't differentiate. You can't integrate. There's no way you can access what's going on. Therefore, you need to dig back a little further and think, well, it's a definite integral. What else does a definite, what, how else can I work out a definite integral if not by calculus? And the answer is by thinking about area, right? So this is just like, this is just like thinking about a question like this. Uh, this is a very common one. Uh, you know, zero to five of this guy. Okay, now because you've seen lots of these ones before, you kind of get the cue. You're like, oh, I, I, as an extension one student, I cannot integrate this, so therefore it has to be something else. Oh yeah, it's a, well it's not even a semicircle actually, it's a, it's a quadrant, right? It's a quadrant of a circle. So it's only on the right hand side, so you say, oh okay, uh, pi r squared would be 25 pi, and I actually only want a quarter of the circle, so 25 pi would four, right? So you think about that through the lens of area, rather than actually, it has nothing to do with calculus, okay? Actually solving that question. Now when you have a look at this guy, I'm going to approach this in just the same way. Now to get a picture of what's going on, this will really help me. I want to draw something that looks like this, okay? Now remember, I don't know what f of x is. So I'm going to draw some random curve, right? And I'm just going to say that the area from here to here, underneath the curve, is this. So what might this looks like? look like? Well, let's draw something like this. So maybe you want to follow along with me. If I go from 0 to 4, 0 to 4, right? And I manufacture some kind of curve, you know, like let's let's do something I can replicate. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's right. really So some weirdo looking graph like that. Okay. And apparently this area underneath here, this area is equal to six. Okay? So now I need to think about how does this thing, this is f of x, right? How does this relate? So this guy, right? Now there are two things happening, right? And the first thing I notice is it says f of x minus 3. So I'm going to figure out this 2 for a minute, okay? What that tells me is there is a horizontal shift. It's shifted 3 units to the right. right. And that means, you, you look at the boundaries, aha, not a coincidence, right? These boundaries has, have also shifted 3 units to the right. So what this curve looks like, if I forgot about the 2, Right? If I just covered this right now, these are the same area. Do you see that? It's just that I've moved this whole shape over this way. Okay? So that's what it would be without the two. But what does that mean? Well, I've not only moved to the right, but I've also moved up. Ah, okay, so now, now let's get a secondary picture going on. Okay? If I draw, uh, I'm not worried about 0 to 4 anymore. I'm now worried about 3 to 7. Okay? So I'm going to go, uh, so I guess... 3 to 7, something like that, okay? I had this shape before, but now I'm going to take that same shape which has been moved over to be 3 to 7, and it's going to move up, okay? So 2 units, so uh, this scale is going to be pretty terrible, but let's call that 2, right? So now, that shape over there is going to sit <coughs> oh my God, 2 units up. higher than this one, right? So it's going to be this shape, uh, you know, this weirdo looking, I don't know, what did, what did I draw? Okay. Like that, okay? So there, this, like I said, the scale is pretty terrible. Uh, this is my six that I had before, right? And then you say, well, what's the missing part? And the answer is, it's a rectangle that's sitting just below the area that I actually already know. And its dimensions are four by two, it's eight. Confirming that this is the worst scale of all time. Okay, so therefore, this area is going to be the original one plus the rectangle. It's 14. Okay, so what did I do that maybe you didn't do? Number one, I thought I can't use calculus, so therefore, this question wasn't me to do with calculus, right? <coughs> this, is a, this is a great conceptual question because it helps to see, it helps to assess. Do you remember? No, 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 wait. 
integral. They're about area first. They're about area first. And then we, uh, we were amazed that actually anti-differentiation would actually give us this, um, would evaluate these functions for us. Okay? And then secondly, what I was assessing was, so this is actually somewhat cruel for one mark. Um, can you work out, okay, well, how, how does this then shift up into this and change?